Hello to Hot Collectors. Today I have a short unboxing with you. Now I search every single day, or at least most of the times, uh, Dot Hack merchandise either on eBay, Mercari, Yahoo Auctions, and any other place I can find. Uh, Surugu, yeah, is another one. So I look at listings every day, and I mostly focus on the new listings because you can sort listings based off of new listings. And one seller, a turns out to be like a, a Japanese seller that has a bunch of Japanese uh, video games that they sell here locally in North America. Uh, this seller came from, I believe, Utah. And I noticed in one of the pictures of their Japanese imports, one of the games was not Japanese. In fact, it was the English version. And so I'm hoping that's what this is. So this was the, the Japanese site, Jporium. And this is their contact info. And in one of their listings was this. This is the Da Hat Quarantine, but this is the Japanese version. You can tell because up here it says NTSC-J. Let's go ahead and open that so you can see it better. Everything's in Japanese, as you can tell back here. There is no ESRB rating down here at the bottom. And sure enough, this is the wrong disc in the uh, Japanese version. This is the North American version, as you can tell by the T for Teen rating here. Now, the Japanese version is supposed to have a pink disc, similar to the Liminality disc here supposed to be a pink one instead of a yellow one and that's what uh, caught my eye when I saw this listing for $15 so this is dot hat quarantine North America oh my gosh that is nice and clean I don't see a single scratch smudge or anything on there so that was a rare chance now this isn't the first time I, this has happened to me. Uh, previously, I had one similar, uh, I believe, a couple years back, um, that came in a uh, dot hack infection case. So, first of all, it was the wrong game case with the wrong game on the inside. And that version had a uh, movie gallery, which was a uh, local uh, DVD video game rental store sticker that was labeled over the whole thing and that one I gave away in a contest uh, back earlier this year of 2024 uh, based off of our social media milestones I put out there like if any one of our social medias meet a certain milestone I would auction off the disc and I already did that and the winner ended up going to someone out of New York so we already ran that contest for that one but uh, this one, I don't think I'm going to be doing that again. I'm not going to do a giveaway. Now, I already have Die Hat Quarantine complete in box. I've had it for a decade since I bought it when it was brand new. But this one, I believe, I am going to uh, sell. So this one will be listed um, probably at normal price on eBay, whatever the current listing is on price charting. And I may... You know, if you mention you're from the Discord, that I will mark it down for you for maybe ten, twenty, thirty dollars, whatever. But I need the money. Unfortunately, uh, collecting dot hack has become quite expensive, especially when CyberConnect Two and Bandai put up brand new products, but never really a new game. Uh, right now, they have their Coon and Ovon birthday card set that's coming out. Uh, the pre-orders are available right now for those two items, those two sets. They're like $60 a piece for a set. That's not including shipping. Uh, shipping will come out uh, next month in November, so we won't find out what the shipping is until then. But it's just quite interesting, you know, that they're still making products, but still no new games. Everyone 
that I know would love to have a remaster, but that's just not in the cards with Bandai. And obviously Bandai's not doing too good right now. They are shutting down their online division, which was part of Blue Protocol and a bunch of other games. And also, they just did a bunch of layoffs this week. This is the week of uh, October 2024, and Bandai has already announced some layoffs in their normal divisions. Um, simply because profits are where the forecast is. So, hopefully, they'll start reevaluating some of their older IPs and put up new uh, versions or remasters, remakes, ports. I will take a freaking port of the original Dot Hat games on modern consoles. That's perfectly fine. You know, it makes them a buck, whatever. But that's all I have for you today is just that I took a chance. You know, at worst, it could have been a an error or that they caught their error and they would have sent me the correct disc with this package. I also noticed that this same site also had two listings for this. And then the other listing did have the right disc in it. But you never know. Take a chance if you ever see a good opportunity. I mean, that works. Like I said, all I lost was $15. Uh, but in the end, I could probably flip this for somewhere between $150 to $200. Because it doesn't have the original case, the uh, Liminality DVD, or the manual. It'll be just disc only, and that disc is a very clean disc. And I could use that money and put it back into purchasing more DaHack merchandise. So I can continue to catalog more DaHack items for you guys on our website and also on our video services, social media, such as YouTube, Twitch, and even TikTok. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.